Hello everyone, my name is Miss Fernandez and we're going to be doing a phonics lesson today. So before everything, we would like to have our materials ready. The first thing we would need to have is a pencil and a paper or a notebook to do this lesson. If you're also printing out this sheet that Miss Fernandez is doing her lesson on, you can do that as well. Great. The second thing that I would like to talk about is our expectations. So if you guys can sit in a nice comfy spot, either on the floor or at the table, that'll be great. Now, let's begin. So the first thing we're gonna be going over is sight words. Ms. Fernandez has four boxes here. So the first box, she's going to be doing the examples. And these three boxes are going to be for our lesson. So we're going to be writing our sight words three times. Let me show you what I mean. So Ms. Fernandez is going to say a sight word. My sight word is going to be they. I'm going to write they three times. They, they, and they. Okay, so I wrote my sight words three times. Now we're going to begin. Ms. Fernandez is going to say three sight words and we're going to say, and we're going to write them three times. So the first sight word that we're going to be writing is all. Let's write all three times. All. All. and all. Great job. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready. Great. So the second sight word that we're going to be writing is half. Let's write half three times. have. Do you see the way I am taking my time? I'm writing the letters very nice and neatly to my best of my ability because I don't want to rush when I'm writing my words. I want to make sure they look very nice and neat. So I am taking my time. Give me a thumbs up when you guys are ready. Awesome. Okay, so our last sight word is the word what. Let's write what three times. What? 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 Give me a thumbs up when you guys are ready. Awesome. So we wrote three sight words. We wrote the word all, have, and what. Great job. So the second lesson that we're going to be doing is talking about digraphs. So a digraph is when we put two letters together that make one sound. So the digraph today that we're going to be talking about is the digraph C, 
CH. So the digraph CH, what sound does it make? Awesome! It makes CH sound, just like we're brushing our teeth. Let's try to brush our teeth. Great job! So the digraph CH can sometimes be in the beginning of a word or sometimes could be at the end of the word. We're going to be writing both today. Awesome! So the first word that we're going to be writing is the word chat. When I write a word, I want to sound it out. I can sound it out with my fingers. I can sound it out with patting my head. I can sound it out with patting my arm. So we're going to pat our head today. So the first word we're going to be writing is chat. Let's tap it out. Ch at. Now let's spell it. Ch a t. I spelled the word chat. The second word we're going to be spelling is chin. Let's tap it out. Ch in. Your turn. Great job. Let's spell it out now. Ch e n. Awesome. The third word we're going to be spelling is chop. Chop. Let's tap it out. Ch ah. Your turn. Great job. So now let's spell the word chop. Ch. A. P. Awesome. The next word we're going to be writing is chip. Chip. Let's tap it out. A, your turn. Great job. Now let's write it. Ch, e, p. Do you notice that when Miss Fernandez is spelling out her words, she's also saying the sound. So just in case she forgets, she hears her. She hears herself, and she writes down the letters. Okay, now let's write another word. The word inch, inch. Hmm. I saw. I hear the digraph at the end now. So remember, digraphs can be both in the beginning and at the end. Let's sound it out. Inch. Your turn. Great job. Now let's spell it out. A N Ch Great job. So the next word we're going to be spelling is lunch. Wow, that's a long word. Lunch. Let's tap it out. L A Mmm, your turn. Great job. So now let's write it. L a mm -ch. Awesome sauce. Give me a thumbs up if you guys are ready. Awesome. So we were we wrote six words with digraph, both in the beginning and at the end of the word. We wrote chat, chin, chop, chip, inch, and lunch. Great job. So now we're going to be moving to our third lesson. Here, we're going to be writing two sentences. One, two, two sentences. The first sentence we're going to be writing is with our sight words. 
any of the four sight words that are in this lesson. And the second sentence that we're going to be writing is a sentence with any of the six diagraphs that we learned today. So the first sentence that we're going to be writing about is for our sight words. And the second sentence we're going to be writing is with our diagraphs. So let's repeat what we're going to be doing. The first sentence we're going to be writing about with our great job sight words. And the second sentence we're going to be writing is with great job, the diagraphs. Okay, so we're going to have five minutes to complete this assignment. Thank you for being part of our lesson. Have a great day. Bye.